Hello. What's up, Scorpio? What's going on, baby? What's going on? I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Keeping your distance, you know, keeping your mask on. Making sure everything is good with you. Keeping the family safe, children. Whatever you got going on, baby. Keeping it copacetic, baby. It's tea time, babies. We're about to dig into the energy of your love life. Okay? A couple hours before Valentine. About to hit the love oracles for my Scorpios, my subscribers, the energy in the room, spirit. You're welcome into the room, ancestors, angel guides. <clears throat> Can you please give me guidance in sending out messages, clarity, good vibrations for my subscribers of Scorpio? Tapping into their love life right before Valentine. Woo -woo. I know a couple of Scorpios that were very romantic, very thoughtful, very loving, very passionate, tight, sexy. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes, they are. <clears throat> so let's see what's up with the sexy Scorpios in their love life. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, sending out clear, precise messages from my subscribers. The energy in the room of my Scorpion subscribers. Scorpio, what's up, what the, what's up? Welcome back to my subscribers. To those of you who have been guided to my channel, don't be shy. Please subscribe. You know, welcome to the tribe, baby. Welcome to the tribe. We make it do what I do. Always, always, always with good intention. We get it done, baby. We get it done. So, I'm going to send in some messages of guidance in the love life of my Scorpion subscribers. Scorpio, here we go. Here we go, Scorpio. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. Let me give it one more little shuffle. Because I ain't give it the little tap, tap, tap. Okay? And here we go. Here we go for Scorpio. The lovers' oracles. That was half of the sh deck. Hit the deck, Scorpio. Hit the deck. Let's go, Spirit. Can we please get clear, concise messages for our Scorpios? What they may need to know. What they may need to hear in their love energy. On their soul's journey. What they need to know about their love life. Little messages, little guidance in their love life. Y'all know the shape of these cards are kind of weird. So they just kind of fall out sometimes. You know. Uh, look deep within your heart. Uh, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Oceans of love, Scorpio. <laughs> Oceans of love, Scorpio. Uh oh It's Valentine. I told y'all they sexy. They romantic. And Valentine just gives them an extra excuse to be extra. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste, Scorpio. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. 
forgiveness. Forgiveness in order to align with the path that you want to take in your life. Forgiveness in order to send out to the universe that you are ready and willing to receive forgiveness, that you are ready and willing to receive love, that you are ready and willing to give truthful, honest, right? Love or forgiveness or any other emotion, you know, that it says look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. It makes me feel like it's the love of the universe for now. Uh, like forgiveness, like um, like you need to forgive yourself or others or the past events, that things that you cannot change, things that no longer <clears throat> resonate in your life. Um, you have to, there's a need to evolve, to grow, to, uh, you know, sometimes even what we're taught as young children are someone else's beliefs, you know? And so we may, you may need to reevaluate yourself and understand that we make mistakes because we're not perfect. We're not perfect, Scorpio. <clears throat> it said, let there be closeness between you. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Outstanding. Equal give and take, baby. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Equal give and take. Embrace. Forgive. Look deep, deep within your heart. Deep within your heart. <clears throat> so here we go. We're moving on into your lover's oracles. I mean, into the Romance Angels for Scorpio, Spirit, Ancestors, Angel Guides, Messages, and the Romance Angels in love for my general collective of Scorpio. Please take what's for you, what's not for you. You leave it behind for Cinderella, baby. We don't apply pressure. We don't remove body parts. We don't do none of that. Nope. <clears throat> we leave it for Cinderella. We share, we comment, we subscribe, we like, and we tell a friend to tell a friend so that Cinderella can get her shoe, baby, because she need it. Here we go, the Romance Angels. Whoa. I got a lot over here, but I got one, and it is... Da -da -da -da! So made, baby. Yes, this is your soul mate. Yes, baby. <clears throat> so for some of you, you may be currently with your soulmate. Yep. Um, we're human. <laughs> we're human. We make mistakes. Uh, the reason why I am saying that, although it is the soulmate card, is just and only to say that <clears throat> when we first meet someone, we may not necessarily know, nine out of 10, we don't know that that's our soulmate. And because we're human, we may make mistakes because it says, stop focusing your energy on past events. But FYI, <clears throat> your soulmate, especially if you already met the person, if you have had intimacy with the person, and that person is your soulmate, then that person will always, somehow, some way, pop up in your mind, pop up in your thoughts. Um, you can just be standing somewhere and that person will pop up physically. <laughs> <coughs> and 
it can happen that way if y'all are just friends and you don't know it because you're human and we're human and so we don't see the signs and we it's not like they stand there with a big sign that says I'm your soulmate, you know, it's not like the universe gives you flash like well the universe tries to give you all the signs, but we're human. We're muggles sometimes. <laughs> So we don't see the signs, right? But you will always think of this person. Not always, every day, all the time. No. When you least expect it. A scent. A sound. A, a color. A movie. A, a song. Something. Something simple. Something ordinary. Out of nowhere. Okay, that's, your, that, that's, that's some of the signs that that's your soulmate. And definitely if it's someone that you find yourself drawn to, okay? Um, people have different uh, views of seeing things different ways. Um, personally for me, uh, the soulmate is what I just sum up i'm not 100 i don't have the whole vocabulary i didn't write a book on it i'm just saying for me my perspective right is that one i'm not talking about the person that um it it, it it's like a a, a not the person that is a, there's a runner, there's a chaser, one runs, the other one chases, we back and forth, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's passionate, and it, and it's, and it's, it's kind of toxic, yeah, I consider that to be the twin flame, but the soulmate, that's another, a whole nother situation, baby, it's a whole nother situation, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a sudden um, catch you by surprise. Yeah. Romantic feelings. It's not just a, a passion. It's, it's a romantic feeling. And for Scorpio, this is the perfect card because Scorpios are romantic. Uh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Soulmate. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, Scorpio. And then it says playfulness. The recapture romance, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And this is my confirmation to what I was saying. Your soulmate, Scorpio, you met this person before. I don't know if you with this person. Your oracles on top are telling you to forgive the person, embrace, you know, um, I'm not exactly sure if you're with your soulmate. You know your life? I don't know your life. But it says, your feelings are real and worth exploring. To recapture romance makes me feel like. Even if you are in a relationship, you may not be with your soulmate and you may be thinking about that person. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Don't kill me the messenger. <laughs> or that person is thinking of you. You know, or that person is thinking of you. It could be the person thinking of you. And, but. If you, if a set or a sound or a something makes you think of a certain someone sometimes, it says keep an open mind, baby. <laughs> the cards don't lie, baby, and I just give you the messages, okay? It says keep an open mind. I channel what spirit gives me and I send it out to you, baby. Please subscribe. Don't be shy. <laughs> It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay, it says look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. 
My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This is your soulmate. This first card out. <laughs> it's your soulmate. And I don't want to rain on nobody's parade. Uh, cross watchers. If you mad, you little mad, you big mad, that's your bad, baby. That's your bad. But the truth of the matter is that there's a Scorpio has a soulmate out there. They may be in a relationship with someone. It says, <clears throat> no, if, if this person is in a relationship, it's not with their soulmate. So that's all I'm going to say because it is what it is, right? And it says very soon. <laughs> very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay? So no, Scorpio, you are not with your soulmate. The current is not the soulmate. The soulmate is the one that, like I said, when you least suspect it, their face pops up in your mind. When you least suspect it, you run into them. When you need to run into them, you may run into them. Uh, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Uh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. So go ahead, baby. Don't be scared. <laughs> if you know who this person is, which I probably, you probably most likely do, know who this person is, Scorpio. You know who you think about when, 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 when you're not thinking about nothing. <laughs> you know, you know who stirs the emotions in your gut just by probably being like near you. If you smell this person, Scorpio, let's keep it 100. If you smell this person. You get aroused. Whether you are male or female. If you smell this person. You melt. You may not say it. You may not act like it. Right? Because we human. And we got pride. And we got ego. Right Scorpio? But. That's your soulmate. That's your soulmate. And it's up to you if you're going to go get your soulmate. If you're going to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. <clears throat> Forget about the past. Whatever happened, happened. Uh, every day is a new day to, uh, for a new start. You know. Um, hopefully it's not something dramatic <laughs> and you can create and begin a new love, which is so me. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, but it says new love, right? So. You, uh, like I said, you are not with your soulmate, but that does not necessarily mean that you don't know who this person is or that you have never been with this person before or that this is a brand new person. You know, we change, we evolve, we grow, we, we, we adapt, uh, we're human and we have to keep going in life, you know, so... If you haven't seen this person in a year, they're different. Six months, two years, whatever. They may have still things the same or whatever. But time and experiences and the things that we go through and different things create different uh, 
twists and turns in our life. And so when it says new love and it says a new person has stirred your romantic feeling, it's because you're not with this person. But you make you like I keep saying, you know this person. You know exactly who this person is. Uh, getting to know each other. As you reveal. I don't make this shit up. Okay. Let's just put it out there. That I don't make this shit up. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So. When somebody. Decides. To make the romantic gesture. Then we can move this shit right along. <laughs> okay. And then we can move this shit right along. Because. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see the hidden truth. What he may feel. What he may think. What he may feel. What he may think. So the energy in love for Scorpio. My subscribers of Scorpio. Please like, comment, share. Let me know if the shoe fits in the rally. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Too many. What he may feel. What he may think. What he may think, what he may feel. For my general collective love, energy of Scorpio, I don't know what you want. Oh, crap. He don't know what you want. <laughs> he don't know what you want. Uh, it could be you. It could be them. I don't know your life. You know your life. Uh, energy is energy. It could be female. It could be male. By masculine is just the energy of. For my own purposes, I use he, I use she. It makes my sentences come out better because I don't want to be uh, tripping over my own words. So it says the masculine energy. I don't want, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. What do you want? Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh, man, there's a song on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> it's actually making me remember a Scorpio right now. I wonder how you feel. I wonder how you feel. I don't know what you want, and I wonder how you feel. I saved your text messages. So that sounds like we have opportunity. <laughs> like uh, like the door is not closed. Like somebody needs to do like forgiveness and leave that shit in the past. Leave the past in the past. And go get your soulmate. You know who your soulmate is. You can feel it in your gut. You can feel it in your heart. Especially if y'all have already been intimate, baby. Okay? What she may feel, what she may think. For the love energy of Scorpio. My subscribers of Scorpio. Please take what resonates with you. What does not resonate with you, you leave it behind, baby. We don't apply pressure, baby. Mm -mm. We take it slow. Always, always with good intentions. We keep it moving forward and up, baby. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay. Um, so maybe that's why somebody don't know what the other one wants. Because the other one uh, may not have felt the reciprocation of love. Of caring, of understanding. I bury myself in work to forget you. 
I bury myself in work to forget you. So, uh, she's distracting herself from the situation. And we both know I am not the one for you. Whoa. Okay, so we have confusion. We have confusion. This is probably what but what happened. <clears throat> right? Probably what happened. Uh for some of you. It could be you, it can be them, it can be your current. It can be your past, baby. You know your life. I don't know your life. But we got soulmate connection. And I really feel like it's not someone you with. It's someone you know. Someone that you think about. Someone that if they stand next to you and you smell their scent. All your little hairs on your body stand up. If you're male, more than that. If you're female... Baby, does it get wet, wet? <laughs> I'm just saying, Cinderella, if the shoe fit, that's too many. Cinderella, if the shoe fit, let me know, baby. Let me know, baby. Spirit, ancestors, whoa, too many, guys. Can we get clear, clear messages? For Scorpio, let me try to turn them this way. Maybe that way is better. Clear messages for Scorpio, spirit ancestors. Can we get messages for Scorpios from the emoji cons? Little messages to take on their soul's journey in matters of the heart. Love matters. Take a take a rain check. Take a rain check, baby. Sienta te que no va. Take a rain check and don't worry, be happy. <laughs> don't worry, be happy. Okay, and it said don't burst my bubble. <laughs> Scorpio, don't worry, be happy. Take a rain check. Next time, baby. Next time. Next time. So uh, maybe you are not going to be brave enough to go after this person at this moment. Uh, or maybe this person is not going to be brave enough to come to you. Maybe this person is distracted and buried in their work. Um, if I was, uh, well, you know, these ain't for me, but... Uh, personally, if I'm in my masculine energy and, and I don't know what the person wants and I wonder how they feel and I have to save their text messages, then I may want to reach out to this person, uh, maybe face to face. So that way you can see their reaction, how they, um, how they react to you, uh, the words that they use, how their eyes move, baby. You can't get that out of a text message. You can not You can hear them in a phone call, but ain't nothing like one-on-one, -on -one, baby. Ain't nothing like one-on-one, -on -one, baby, where you can see the person's reaction, their body movements, so they can smell. Let them smell what the rock is cooking, baby. Can we get one more? For my general collective of Scorpio, my subscribers of Scorpio, the energy in their love life for my Scorpio spirit, ancestors, angel guides. Oh, I think they're done with you. Okay. <clears throat> and don't count your chickens before they hatch. This one came out earlier. Um, don't count your chickens before they hatch. So. You don't know the outcome of the situation. 
of what's going to happen, of uh, which way can it go. Um, um, you have to be your truest self. You may, it may, you may need to be vulnerable. Um, it can be you, it can be them. If it is them that, um, if it is you that is burying yourself in your work, da, 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 then you may have to be vulnerable when this person reaches out to you. So that this person that doesn't know what you want can be honest. Oh, honesty. Can be honest and open and vulnerable also. So that y'all can get this conversation going, baby. It says, um, as policies go, honesty is up there with the best of them. A healthy respect for the truth can result in gaining more truth or respect from others. And being honest with ourselves increases our clarity in life. Naturally, the, the, naturally, the odd white lie may occur, e.g., in order to save someone's feelings. But generally, the more honest we are, the more straightforward and rewarding life is. Yes, we're not perfect. Uh, we may uh, save some feelings along the way, but for the most part, we want to be honest. And with ourselves, we always want to be honest. Don't try to save your own feelings because you ain't saving your own feelings shit. You are lying to yourself, and if you start believing your own lies, you ain't going nowhere fast. Uh, I have love and respect for the truth. I will strive to always be honest to others and to myself. Honesty. Okay, Scorpio. Let's keep it real, baby. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real so we can get the situation moving along. Get on that right path. Work-life balance. Work-life balance. Working hard in a job is great. And you may have a job that you love, but don't forget that your job is only a part of you. It is not your whole life. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance has a crucial impact on mental well-being, growth as a person, and overall life enjoyment. Give your best at work, but don't deprive yourself of as essential human freedoms. And it says, I work hard and I take my rewards for it. I will never be a slave to my job. I will never be a slave to my job. Work-life balance. Very, very important. Yes. Honesty and work-life balance. It sounds like a plan, baby. If you find your soulmate, and you wrap it all up with a little bow, baby. Forgiveness, leave the past in the past. And you, calmness. Woo -woo. Only if it was that easy, right? Calmness. <clears throat> At times, it can feel like the modern world is full of stressful events and anxieties. <laughs> what did I say? Don't we wish it was that easy? And often we can spend too much time worrying about things that have happened or things yet to come. Forgiveness. This is when we need to remember the importance of calmness and inner peace. There are certain things we cannot change. The past. And within us all is the capacity for perspective and the ability to let these things up. <laughs> and it says, there is a great reserve of calmness inside me. Today I will bring tranquility into the world. And if you do, if you succeed, you too will have calmness and tranquility in your world, in your inner sanctum. 
within yourself, within your family, within what you can control. Let's, we're human. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100 within the things that you can control. Okay? That. And hopefully you will get that reciprocated, baby. Reciprocated. We can't expect everybody to be or do what we expect them to be or do. Um, but we can control our actions. We can control our words. We can control ourselves. And we can be and choose happiness. And we can be and choose love. And um, when you do choose to follow your heart, 9 out of 10. It's going to lead you exactly to the right path where you need to go. To your destiny. To your fate. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Avoid negative people at all costs is your fortune cookie. Okay, Squirt, that's your fortune cookie, baby. Here we go. Can we get another fortune cookie for Scorpio? And then we're wrapping out, baby. I didn't even look at the time. So you got me in here a little longer than I was supposed to. And it says love, baby. It says love. Love is in the air. A great time for communication. Commitment. Ooh. Commitment. Soulmate. Your first card out. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean, baby. Forgive the past. The past is in the past. Can't change it. Can't do nothing about it. Can only start from when you put when you step up to the plate. Game on. Well, I say game on, but I, I don't like that term when it comes to love. But anyway, <laughs> love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Woo -woo. It's time for love, baby. It's time for love, baby. And that was your tea for Scorpio. I tell you, baby. I tell you. Lee going to bring you the tea, baby. There's a soulmate out there that you know of that you think of that when you smell that person everything about you inside you let you know that wow this is a person that makes me feel things i i don't i don't even know why i'm feeling them <laughs> yeah well that's just so me baby that's just so me Smooches, happy Valentine.